Thanks for tuning in. We're in the beautiful Phuket, Thailand, and we're on board the Silvercraft 36 HT. Let's take a look around so we can give you an idea of what you can expect when you come and join us on board. One of the first things you'll notice on board is the enormous bow seating, horseshoe shaped seating all around, walking through into the covered hard top area. On board this boat, the 36 HT, we also have a custom extended bimney which shades this whole area. So rain, hail or shine, you're really going to be protected from the elements. You're really protected from all the elements on board this 36 HT. The strong feature is certainly the hard top and the extended bimney, without doubt. Rain, hail or shine, you're going to be comfortable. The helm station is well laid out, side windows on each side to let some breeze in. And then we have the flow through. We open the door and the window to get the, the breeze throughout the whole boat. VHF radio, drink holder, uh, throttles for the Suzuki up and down, Fusion stereo system, um, Garmin uh, GPS chart plotter and sounder, um, switch panels and your anchor windlass up and down. So if you're short-handed one or two or even by yourself, you can let the uh, anchor down and pull the anchor up. Um, you also have fuel flow meters. So if you want to get the most economy out of the boat, you have the capacity to do that with the diagnostics which are offered on board. This bow is absolutely enormous. It's a fantastic place for cruising. Everyone will gravitate towards it when they first get on board, I'm sure. Seating, comfortable seating for 10, drink holders, really deep lockers all the way through the center line of the hull of the boat to put ice. They're all drained, so you could put ice, you could put your fishing gear, your diving gear your uh, wakeboard, skis, whatever you like. There's loads of space on board. We have an anchor forward with foot switches so you can control the anchor here or you can control the anchor at the helm and then we have the anchor locker for the rope in the chain. Walking through from the bow, starboard side helm, port side, really nice seating. You see the side opening win windows on each side, VHF radio there. The flow through and breeze is very good. Hard top. And then a really wide open aft deck space. You see the tracks there for the, the dive tanks and then you have one, two, three lockers which are really nice and deep. The port and starboard forward lockers are, are drained. So again, you could put uh, wet gear, ice or, or whatever you please in there. We then have the, uh, the shower, twin uh, Suzuki 250 horsepower outboard engines, um, 275 hours on each. And then you see the custom hard top, which was beautifully done, really uh, improves the boat a lot. Uh, fishing rod holders and the exterior lines of the boat. Walking up the port side, Again, you see the beautiful wide cockpit, which lends itself to diving, snorkeling, fishing, whatever you like. It's a, a really great space. Side opening windows again, then forward onto the open bow. There's a cover which goes over the whole bow and actually over the whole boat uh, for when she's um, stored and berthed. Just walking back aft, you'll notice a small ladder there, which will um, take you up onto the hard top. You could actually sit up there. We don't recommend it, but it is uh, strong enough to take um, the weight of a person. Full uh, rod holders in the combings. That's a fuel filler there. We have drawers and a storage locker here. On the port side, starboard side, we have a sink. And then underneath there is an enormous amount of space. There is no 12 volt fridge here, but you can see the amount of space that's in there. You could put whatever you liked in there. This is to give you an idea of the amount of storage that's on board. At the moment, there's cleaning products in here. Uh, then you see on the starboard side, another locker. Moving forward, just adjacent to the helm station, you see an, another really deep locker. Shower and head, which is quite generous. Then walking forward, again, you see just how deep the drained locker is here. And then another one forward of that, which is a little bit shallower. To recap on the specification of this Golfcraft 36 HT, she carries a thousand liters of petrol, just under 200 liters of water. At top speed, she'll do just under 40 knots, which is quite respectable, very fast actually. 
at between 28 and 33 knots. She'll do about 150 nautical miles of range. She's powered by twin 250 Suzuki horsepower engines, which have about 275 hours each of them. If you would like a private virtual tour, please click on the link below and contact me directly. Or if you'd like further information and the, a full specification and detailed photos, again, please contact me on the link below. Thanks for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.